Joe Daly was a student when I first met him at, um, I don't know whether he had just finished high school in music and art or just entering into Manhattan School of Music, but he was one of a bunch of students on the high school and, and college level who'd come by the studio and hang out and eventually get involved in my composer's workshop ensemble, which, I mean, it was a workshop because whoever came, you know, there'd just be enough parts for everybody to play. So you can imagine me, I'm in college, uh, you know, I'm writing music for, um, you know, for, you know, mainly for, for many of the other students that were in, in, the, um, in the college at the time. They would, I, would, I would find a rehearsal place, write this music, and ask guys to come in. And eventually the band got bigger and bigger. People began to hear about the fact that I was writing this music. And, and I was having, like, I, was thinking, I think I was having weekly rehearsals. At, and this was right at Manhattan School of Music. So people were coming in and, um, and the you know, ensemble, so after a while, the ensemble, the ensemble got to the point where, you know, professional guys that that weren't students also started. To, I started, so that's why I met Cecil Bridgewater and, um, and, and others of, of that caliber. We began to come down and, and join the ensemble and everything. And so um, for, for some reason, I, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, um, I wanted you know, timpani for one piece. And, you know, and so everybody recommended Warren. So I called him up, you know, not knowing that he was this big studio musician, you know, of one of, you know, first called, one of the first called musicians in New York, um, you know, which other musicians of that caliber wouldn't even take your telephone call, nonetheless, you know, attend your one of your rehearsals. So anyway, so I called him up, you know, explained to him that I had this ensemble that was rehearsing a man's school of music. Would he you know, come down and, and, and perform, and, you know, um, with the ensemble and, and be, a, uh, be a member of the ensemble. Warren said, sure, I'll be there. That relationship grew as, as uh, Joe progressed, you know, to the point where he was a teacher himself. We did a couple of uh, Broadway shows together. He was involved with um, Howard Johnson's tuba group, uh, which became Gravity. Or was it Gravity original Substructure it was first called, and then it became Gravity. But they rehearsed at my studio every week. You know, Joe is like um, Muhal Richard Abrams and Makanda Ken McIntyre. As composers, they don't, they don't write um, music according to your scalar training. You know, I, I mean, it just goes away from that, and it forces you to be able to adjust in another way, you know. The, the three of those people I, I, I can consider as really a challenge in that respect. Perkinson also, of course, was um, probably influential in, in all of their careers. Sam Rivers had a way of doing that too, but it forces you to really take the music in almost a, um, improvisatory manner, you know, I, I mean, I, all right, I say, I tell them, my wife, my friends, I'm a jazz musician, I improvise through life, you know, because every day is different circumstances, but these things really make you musically put that into practice, because you, you can't anticipate what's coming next, you know. Uh, after a few years, you get to the point where you are familiar with certain stylistic idiosyncrasies, you know, and and Joe has those, you know, I can see something going and I say, oh, I think that's what this is, you know. But only from the experience of having lived through it. You know.